Okay, there there was like this there was like this mouse er and then there was like this game and then there was like these mousers and then this game and then there was like this you know hatred and and then there was this idea, and there were these guys that, like, had, like, an idea. <laughs> then they, they started working on it, and, and then... This is Ray Weigel from Extended Play at Tech TV, and on the phone with me is Darren Richardson, the President and Chief Operating Officer of Mad Cats, Inc. You know, um, here at Mad Cats, we've got a big group of uh, hardcore gamers, and most of those are developed internally. If I take an example, um, the Panther XL uh, is a product we have which has a trackball and joystick, and it was developed by guys who are big into first-person shooters like Quake, um, to be able to replicate the mouse and keyboard action in uh, in a control pad that um, uh, that has a whole lot of buttons broken out for different weapons, it really is the the human interface device. And when when we're looking at designing a controller, I mean, uh, it's important that um, you really don't notice that you're holding it when you're playing it. So ergonomics are absolutely critical. It needs to fit into your hands comfortably. All the button layouts have to be in a in a logical place, and the buttons have to work um, in a crisp manner. Uh, if you've got a control pad in particular that you know has sloppy buttons, or you you have to press it really hard to make it work, uh, you don't have the confidence in playing the game, and you start to focus on on what you're doing with the controller rather than just being totally immersed in the game. <laughs> 
Ragmaster is frenzied as Mad Cat's Panther XL springs into action. The eagerly awaited Panther XL has been sprung from its cage and Fragmasters are in a frenzy as Mad Cat's introduces the industry's first ever PC controller combining state-of-the-art 3D control ball technology and a high-performance joystick all-in-one lethal gaming weapon. This latest industry breakthrough comes on the heels of Mad Cat's recent acquisition of the Assassin 3D technology from FP Gaming and the introduction of the ultimate precision deathmatch controller, the Panther. With its ultra-fast 3D control ball sampling, maximum button control, precise analog to digital, digital conversion, and high-speed digital communication, the hottest 3D games such as Quake, Quake 2, Duke Nukem, and Unreal get even hotter. And with its easy learning curve, plus the ability to plug into any joystick for a total of 17 specific controls, Panther gives every game player the competitive edge. According to industry observers, the Panther XL, with widespread developer support, will be the best way to play every great game. One peripheral pundit was heard to exclaim, Doom is doomed! And Panther drew its own accolades from American McGee, co-creator of Quake for ID Software, who said, you could now play Quake the way it was designed to be played. Anyway, uh, if you're in the clan, Clan A3D, welcome. If you're not in the clan, well, you're also welcome, I guess. But, you know, we really don't like you that much. We, we'd rather you use the Panther XL controller and not that piece of crap called a mouse. Hold on to your butt! You're listening to Clan A3D Radio from Clan Assassin 3D. Home of the Panther XL and Assassin 3D trackball controllers. Master of the technical kill. Welcome to the show. This is Malleus from Plan A3D. We're going to start things off with some tunes. We'll get down to some business later. But right now, here's the Butthole Surfer. Destroy here and tons of people from all over the place, uh, Milwaukee, Madison. There's uh, tons of games going on and uh, everybody's having a hell of a good time. Damn it. Hi, will ya? Yeah. The CFC Spank. Okay. Go! I am Magister. Ilias is Midnight. I'm King Nothing. Name's Nuclear. Steel. Go on your flag! Uh, I'm Wheel. Nice! Nice! I killed you once, Crack? Well on the Woo, man, what's up? You know, is that looking at you or are you looking at the mouse? You know, I mean, the mousers, you know, I, I, did I say mice earlier? I said mice earlier, you know, I'm going to say mousers every time. Mousers, mousers, mousers. That's the word we're going to, you know, really concentrate on. I think it's going to be like a buzzword on the show. Hey, this is Panther calling the Assassin Hotline. I got a problem. The, the geek part for the trackball you're speaking. Right, right, yeah. When you're, you get the body oils off your hands, you know, on the trackball, uh, gets the balls get all grungy, the little metal bearings in there. I, I, uh, I've heard a rumor on something like that that they're also taking a little bit of fine sandpaper to the outside of the bearings. Sure, once they're black and crusty, um, that's not a bad idea. Go ahead and take a little bit of fine, I say like, uh, 300 grit sandpaper. Um, or those green scotch bright pads work real well. Shine that surface back up as shiny as you can get it, because then what you'll do is you'll eat off the corrosion that's causing the, the gritty feel or the bumps. Um, but once the, uh, the chroming is gone on the outside of those bearings. They don't last very long. They, they corrode up real quick. What, what does the kit basically include? Um, the kit has replaceable bearings. Basically, the kit started from um, some old Assassin 3Ds, now being marketed as the Panther. 
Um, it's just, just a track ball by itself, no joystick. But they have uh, three of the metal bearings, the two metal springs, to it. A black panther sneaking up on a guy ready to pounce when all of a sudden, <laughs> instead of mauling the man, the man smothered the panther with kisses. If the panther XL was an animal, it would be a pink river dolphin, not a pink panther. Let me show you why. At the height of the flood, the trees can stand in water 10 meters deep. The floodwaters bring with them the animals of the river, like boto dolphins. Their origins are a mystery. Could they be a relic of Amazonia's ancient links with the oceans? These river dolphins are almost blind, no handicap in water that's often very muddy, because they navigate by echolocation. Unlike marine dolphins, they have a flexible neck, so by sweeping their head from side to side, they can scan their path ahead. Their sonar is so precise that they can weave their way through a maze of submerged branches in search of fish. Whisker-like bristles on their lips help them zero in on their target.
Thank <laughs> you.